Hello, I'm Sue and this is my book, The Magnificent Moon Hare and the Foul Treasure. And it's the second book in the Moon Hare series. And I'd like to read you a little bit of it now. This is chapter one, Pebbles and Pirates. PJ Petulant picked up a smooth, wet pebble from the sandy beach of the little cove and threw it lazily into the ocean. Do you know how long it took for that pebble to get on the beach? asked the moon hare. It's whole life and now you've just thrown it into the sea and it's got to start all over again. PJ looked down at the moon hare. He was lying on his back on the sand, wearing a rather silly, stripy, all-in-one bathing suit. His eyes were closed and he had a large blob of green sunblock on his nose. Stupid, said PJ. Pebbles don't have lives, they're just pebbles. The moon hare opened one eye. They do have lives, actually, he said, and names, and that one was called Derek. I knew a pebble once, said Sandra the dragon, joining in. It was grey. PJ looked at them. It hadn't been long since the moon hare had returned from the moon to outlandish, appearing suddenly in the amazing maze. Since his return, thought PJ, he'd been more harebrained than ever. She giggled to herself, <laughs> harebrained. The moon hare had his eyes closed and was humming to himself. Sandra was sitting a little apart from them, further up the beach on his towel. He was wearing an enormous rubber ring around his middle and was staring hard at the sea. Sandra couldn't swim and he didn't trust the water. I don't float, he would often say to anyone who'd listen. I glide and I soar, but I don't float. It's not a dragonish thing to do. PJ had learned there were lots of things that weren't dragonish to do, usually because Sandra didn't feel like doing them. PJ had learned a lot about moon hairs too. Most importantly, they like sponge cake with blue icing, wardrobes, stripy tights and stuff. Sometimes she had the feeling she was the only sensible one in the castle. Moon hares could also be great fun too, but she wouldn't tell him that. Instead, she said, we should be going back to the castle now. It's nearly tea time and Cook is making beans on toast. And custard, said the moon hare. Does that sea look closer, do you think? Asked Sandra suspiciously. I used to be a captain on a ship, said the moon hare suddenly. They don't have ships on the moon, said PJ. Do you even know what one looks like? I do, actually, yes. They're big and wooden and have ladders and bangy pots and a parrot. <laughs> PJ giggled. Silly, she said. They do, said the moon hare. That sea is definitely getting nearer, said Sandra, holding up his beach towel. Moon hare, they don't have bangy pots, said PJ, standing up and packing her beach bag into her towel. They do. They have flat black flappy flags with smiley faces on it too. They don't, said PJ firmly. Do, said the moon hare. I think they do actually, agreed Sandra. Sandra, you never go near the sea except when you're with us and this is a quiet cove. Ships just don't come here. What's that then? asked Sandra, pointing. PJ stopped packing and looked out to sea. Sure enough, there on the horizon was a ship. Yeah, said the moon hare rudely, and he stuck out his tongue. It was a large ship with billowing white sails. It was painted a sludge green colour and had shiny brass portholes and a yellow mast. At the top of the tallest one flew the Jolly Roger, the flag of a pirate ship. Oh no, groaned PJ, Uncle Julian. <gasps> What's an Uncle Julian? asked the moon hare, standing up. Uncle Julian, said PJ, is Mum's brother. They don't get on. Uncle Julian used to be a king, just like Dad, but now he's not. Now he's a pirate. Oh, lovely, said the moon hare, jumping up and down. He's not very piratey, said PJ. He doesn't even have a pirate crew. Oh, said the moon hare, and he stopped jumping. He must want something. Him and Mum always have big arguments. The last time, Mum tried to have his head chopped off. Oh, lovely, said the moon hare, jumping again. But Dad wouldn't let her. No, oh, said the moon hare. Mum won't be pleased, said PJ, picking up her beach mat. We'd better go and warn her. 
I will come too, said Sandra, picking up his beach towel. I'm ever so hot, he moaned, as he followed them towards the castle, and I have sand in places. We're going to meet a pirate and have fun and adventure and lots of fantastic stuff, said the moon hare. The sand will soon fall out of your places. <laughs>